Good morning, guys. So, uh, today, woke up this morning, it was pouring rain. And, uh, decided to sleep in. The deer have been moving midday anyway, because it's a new moon. So, it's like 8 o'clock, 8.30 or something. I'm heading out to do a midday sit where I stay in the stand till two o'clock or until the rain doesn't let me stay any longer. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> That was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo! What a rush. Money. That deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. You know, you may think that you need a big buggy or a mud truck to get far out in South Florida, but you can get pretty much anywhere you can with those things with an e-bike. You just have to be willing to get off and walk through the rough patches. I'm going two miles out through some nasty stuff right now. disaster of a morning holy crap um, so I got to my tree at like 8 45 I think 8 30 8 45 climbed up my tree pulled my bow up and then realized that my quiver was gone so I got down I left all my stuff at the tree because I knew that would force me to actually come back and uh, I rode hoping that it was close I rode to about 50 yards from my truck I'm about two miles in so I burned up a significant portion of my battery at which point I knew that I wasn't gonna have enough battery to go out here and back again so I had to drive my truck through some really nasty holes to get here which I try not to do because it's my my daily driver but it's kind of the only way I could make it work it's now 10 o'clock and the reason I wanted to do this is because yesterday and the day before these deer have been walking late like they came through like as soon as I got down out of my stand both times <laughs> so I'm hoping they'll walk late again today it's a new moon so basically I'm gonna sit from now until like the weather starts getting bad and then I'll get down Well, it did not take long for that weather to turn bad. Almost immediately, I found myself dealing with a squall coming in, and I luckily had one of these emergency ponchos in my bag so I could sit through the storm. The rain didn't last long, and within about 15 minutes of it ending, I suddenly spotted a deer behind me. It started working towards me, so I got ready to shoot, but unfortunately didn't get my main camera on in time to get video of it. I was waiting for this deer to pop out on my left side when all of a sudden I heard a sound coming from further back in the swamp.
what I probably should have done right here is range that spot that that doe just walked through. But I didn't know that there was a buck coming behind her. I was expecting that buck to walk by at a spot I had ranged prior at 40 yards, but he came closer than that and I didn't know how far it was and it looked like he was going to continue here to my left, so I decided not to take a shot at a range I wasn't sure of and decided to get prepared for him to pop out on the other side. Unfortunately, he never did. I did eventually see those deer in the bedding area that you can see in the back here and I thought maybe I could bring them back over. Minutes later it started raining again and while I was getting my poncho on I suddenly caught a glimpse of something. After all that grunting and snort wheezing, it actually looked like this buck was going to come back. But no such luck. It moved over to the right and disappeared out of my life. been um, a trying day for sure. Didn't see anything the first couple hours. Then around uh, like right around 11.30, 11.45 two does come through with a buck chasing them. And then uh, figured I was going to stay you know, at least for the whole um, major feed, which was 12 to 2. 
and then just now it's now two o'clock so probably about 210 right at the end of major feed they came through going the other way but I was putting on like there was a storm coming through so I was covering up everything for the rain I covered up the camera I was putting on my poncho and all of a sudden I spotted doe so I immediately grabbed my bow as fast as I could knowing that that buck was going to be behind her and uh, he came through probably I don't know like 40 yards which is a shot I would absolutely take if I know it's 40 yards he ran past went to 50 turned she turned around she started like running circles it was weird so he turned around and he was stuck behind this bush for a minute at like 40 yards I drew up I was waiting for him to step out and then he just kind of started running again I mean, he kept turning around thinking because he lost the doe at one point he kept coming back my way but then she would like move and he'd find her again so it's 2.20 I said I was going to stay up until 3 the weather's kind of shifting for the better so I might stay up as long as I can bear because I think there's a good chance that they'll come right back through again I don't have much food left, not much water, so we'll see how long I last. I guess when I run out of food and water, I'll get down. Hi right, guys, heading in pretty late. It's like, oh, it's like five o'clock, five thirty almost gonna get like two hours in the tree but there's a really big buck that showed up uh, earlier today and uh, hoping he's still hanging around just climbed up the tree at six o'clock it's a little afternoon hunt after work and uh, as soon as I got up into my tree there was a doe 40 yards behind me I don't think she's left she's just kind of moseying around back there that's a good sign deer like other deer so the smell of deer is here it's a good chance another deer is going to come through
นะฮะ a little far back on that Up. Let me go over here and see if you can find any blood. Wait, I think it was right here when I shot. Good bit of blood. Kind of splattered all over here. It might be okay. I tracked little specks of blood for about an hour, but eventually I just lost the blood. There's some blood right there. Well, I thought for a second that was going to go better. I saw a decent bit of blood, but unfortunately the blood dried up after about 50 yards, and um, there's just not much you can really do. Oh, damn it. This is the tough part about bow hunting. 